Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will design and simulate common emitter amplifier with potential divider circuit using NPN transistor 2N2923 and we will determine the DC values at various node using the multisim tool. Let us understand the design procedure for this following circuit. Now, let us assume that VCC equal to 25 volts and the value of VRE is less than or equal to VCE. Assuming the value of VRE equal to 5 volt, we can calculate the value of RE that is resistor across the emitter which is equal to VRE divided by the collector current. As per the specification of 2N2923 transistor, value of collector current is equal to 3 mA, VCE is equal to 10 volt, beta equal to 190 and IR1 equal to 32 times of I of B. From the specification, we know that the value of collector current is equal to 3 mA. So we will substitute this value to determine the value of resistor RE which is equivalent to 2 kilo ohm. Now VRC is equal to VCC minus VCE minus VRE which is 25 volts minus 10 volt minus 5 volt which is equal to 10 volt so the value of VRC is equal to 10 volt thus calculating the value of RC which is equivalent to VRC divided by the collector current which will be equivalent to 3.3 .3 kilo ohm now to calculate the current across the base which is approximately equivalent to 15 micro ampere based on the base current value we can calculate the current across the resistor R1 and the resistor across R2 based on the calculation we can determine the voltage across the base which is VB is equal to VBE plus VRE which is equivalent to 5.65 volts. Now based on this value we can calculate the value of R2 and R1. So the value of R2 will be equivalent to 12.15 kilo ohm and the value of R1 will be equivalent to 40.31 kilo ohm. Click on place. Click on component. Now select the group as transistors and we will select 2N2923 NPN transistor for this design. Click OK and place this component on the schematic window. Next select the group as basic and in the family section select it as resistor now select the r1 value as 40.2k which is 40.2 kilo ohm and place this on the schematic window next we have to similarly Place the R2 value as 12 kilo ohm. Click OK and place this resistor on the schematic window. Next, select the resistor R3 value as 2 kilo ohm and place this resistor on the schematic. Similarly, we have to place a, a 40.2 kilo ohm resistor value 
on the schematic window. we must place the DC voltage VCC that is supplied to the transistor select the group as source and in the family subsection as power sources and then select VCC place this VCC on the schematic window now to change the VCC value double click on that and change this value to 25 volt click OK now we must place a bogus DC voltage source of 0 volt this would not affect the circuit operation but provides a convenient place to take the current measurement to place the dummy DC power source we must click on DC power and place the particular DC power near resistor value R2 near the base of the transistor near the resistor value R1 and the resistor value R4 and change the value of this dummy DC source to 0 volt now connect the wire from VCC to the resistor R1 and from the resistor value R4 to the VCC. Connect the wire from the resistor terminal R4 to the dummy source and from the dummy source to the collector of the transistor. Connect the wire from the base of the transistor to the dummy source and connect the wire from the emitter of the transistor to the resistor R3 and from the resistor R3 to the resistor R2 and to the dummy source and from the dummy source to the resistor value R4 and this particular circuit is complete. Now click on place source and select the component as ground place this particular ground connection on the schematic to perform the circuit simulation click on simulate click on select analysis and simulation now select the DC operating point and select all the variables and run the simulation.
we are able to determine the DC operating point analysis for the common emitter circuit. Now to perform the DC sweep click on simulate and select analyze and simulation. Select the DC sweep and in source select the start value as 0 volt and the stop value as 2 volt and the increment as 0 0.5 volt. In the output variable select the variable as V2 and click on run. We can see the DC transfer characteristic for this circuit. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Request you to subscribe to my channel for more such videos.